Yeah, so uh, the three I had down, so the first was that there's just a tremendous amount more to learn, and that's probably never going to change. There's always going to be more to learn, but this helped me really um, focus in on the things, or the areas where my learning needs improvement. And I, I talked about that earlier, but it's mostly in like the challenges of each market, not so much the potential. So that was very helpful. Uh, the second thing I wrote was that flexibility is key, and I put within reason in parentheses. So a lot of the examples, the specific examples you gave of companies really highlighted this. And for me, it helped me think of um, more of my technology innovation, whatever you want to call it, more of a, as more of a platform than a product. So just going through this and thinking, okay, you know, we can cut the tube into a sheet and that opens up a whole new sector of the market. So that, that flexibility was very helpful and it'll probably change the way I think about things moving forward. Um, but I think the most important takeaway that kind of speaks to the course as a whole and the methodology as a whole is that if you use a, uh, an approach that is grounded with like strategic analysis of these markets, you can leave a lot of like your feelings, preconceived notions and biases out of evaluating the markets and choosing what to go off of. And these worksheets really help that. Mike. Uh, I, first thing, uh, maybe yes. The new opportunities that we came up with just with brainstorming with completely new people I, I a couple of them came up that i had never considered before i've been thinking about this for seven years <laughs> and then with these new opportunities like how to quickly evaluate their viability and attractiveness um, of this new market opportunity but do it in a real organized and clear method so with, the, with those with those charts that, and just post it in which quadrant, made it very clear. Um, and so my second part was market identification. So I can identify markets for each one of those things. Um, and it kind of opens up a lot more potential for me because I thought it was more of a complete moonshot originally. And now there's, there are areas that I can look at and pursue more deeply in case, you know, or when something doesn't go the way I think it will. And then the last one, uh, which I really liked is, uh, is basically potential versus challenge. Uh, those uh, attractiveness uh, to build those attractiveness maps. I think that, that is a, a very good learning. These are things I've thought about before, but I didn't objectively score them or have them written out in an organized and clear way. So um, I think the main takeaway for me was that going through the worksheets and have everything written up. So when someone asks, I can not only tell them, yeah, I looked into it before, but just like show something that's easier to follow and understand for them as well. Like they could just follow the um, scores for each of these like challenges that I foresee. And that also helped compare them, compare each of these markets better. Um, so not only having a clear way to score them, but also having a way that is applicable to a variety of markets so they can be in the same scale. And the last thing is about presenting it. It's a lot of the times I don't necessarily talk about the many other applications when I present my technology because then it looks like we're not focused. But now that I have like a map that I can show, I think that gives the investors more confidence that if this doesn't work out, there are other things that could work out. Right. But I made a decision to focus on the specific ones. It shows your focus, but also that if it doesn't work out, there are other things that you can do.